Hello guys, what's going on? I'm Mechanic Bride. I made this video for F-150 EcoBoost owner. Uh, some driver may have experienced a whistling noise while accelerating, uh, hard accelerating sometimes. And I diagnosed and found many problems. You could just manifold uh, gasket rattling and whistling noise because uh, manifold warping. So uh, usually lead tail time, right hand side manifold is around eight hour and the left hand side of 4.5 hour. So I shortly uh, showing the how to replace the missing one. Let's go. Once the lady of truck uh, drained the current, remove the under skid plate, a top on any cover. I remove the piece of the right hand side the CAC charging air uh, cooler tube in and out from the power charger. And I also remove the third body tube and the left hand side power charger up for the CAC tube. And also remove the, I remove the uh, serpentine belt the alternator and then you can see that remove also AC belt, belt because we remove the AC compressor uh, to access the uh, right hand side coolant tube. You can see, you can see there's three AC compression uh, bolt. This bottom is showing angle and then you can see that uh, remove the CAC tube and also I remove the bolt from the uh, starter motor and hanging down like it is. And then you can see the uh, upward and then both upward charger and catalytic converter nut removed. I removed remove the pole nut and this uh, catalytic converter pipe to play out the backward and then make the room. You can see that I have the picture like this and then make the room much easier to get out of the power charger from the engine. Now it's the time to remove the turbo charger assembly and then first remove the uh, coolant uh, supply uh, connector. And, and then next uh, access the three turbo charger bolts. I did uh, one bolt is broken already. And this here, uh, you can see the coolant tube and push it up, hanging down upside. And bottom of the oil Cooler uh, oil return tube bolt is here, and then I remove the T45, remove the tube bolt, and then one oil and coolant supply uh, pipe for holding bracket bolt, no, bolt is here. I arrow the marks, yeah, it's from the this here, and remove also this bolt, bolt the T45, and then uh, remove the power charger assembly this is uh, outward this is here remove the right hand side the power charger assembly with the uh, coolant supply tube so this is coolant supply tube from the disconnector and then also you can see the bottom of the oil return line and all it block on the I uh, just may pull the, the stud board you can see it the inside and yeah this one you just manifold the stud is already broken so I using the mini doctor and if you don't have a mini doctor and use the oxygen heating and using the oxygen heating or mini doctor and remove the whole just manifold the not can stir them now access the whole right hand side is still in the head one is deeply broken in uh, stud one stud it's so hard to remove it and uh, our shop has a MIG welder so I welded this uh, not to, to the uh, broken stud and it can much easier to remove it deeply broken stud it's hard to extract out because it's sometimes it's hard to weld too much deep inside. But I welded this one is not bad. It's several times welded, 
and extracted it. We have, because we have a big welder like this. This picture where uh, you just manipulate the rope and then a leathering gasket. And then bottom of the new one is upgrade, code upgrade manifold because of many problems working in just manifold. And this picture, and when you uh, remove the turbocharger, you should replace all coolant connector using a special tool. If you don't have a special tool, you can use the pickup tools. This is a new left, left side to turbo coolant, right side of uh, block side coolant. And I also replace the turbo oil feeding filter, and coolant feeding, and other uh, stuff and not. Now install the right hand side manifold assembly. Start, the stud is the 106 inch pound and the nut is 18 foot pound. Now put the back to the turbocharger and then uh, turbocharger bolt is 24 uh, foot pound. And then I, I already told this for all the place turbocharger feeding and uh, pull out the oil feeding basket, oil and feeding. So running is fine, everything makes sure there's no leaking full run to oil from the turbocharger and then nothing anymore, obviously no idea. Thank you for watching.